Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are doing good. Children, as you all are aware that we were doing revision of chapter 8 decimals. And uh, till yesterday we have done introductory part of decimal. Today we are going to start our class with the conversion part. And how we are going to convert it like rupee into paise. Or if you have been given with a paise, how will you write it in rupee also. That we are going to do... Uh, from your book now uh, that is conversion related exercise is your exercise 8.4 let's see some of the question which is related to uh, conversion only let's start with the first one like express as express as rupees express as rupees so you have been given with uh, a question which is in which the question is given in paisa and that you need to express it into rupees now using decimals only so the first part that is that is 5 paisa the first part which is 5 paisa so we all are aware of it that in rupee 1 we have 100 paisa or sometime you can write it in this way that 1 paisa is equals to 1 by 100 of rupee 1 by 100 of rupee it means if 1 paise is equals to 1 by 100 of rupee then 5 paise is equals to 5 paise is equals to 5 that will be divided by 100 and this answer you will be getting in rupees only so what you will be getting rupee 2 decimal place 0 0.05 0 0.05 so here what we have done we have converted 5 paisa into rupee 5 paisa into rupee so instead of 5 paisa you can take any other example also you can take 75 paisa another example we will be taking so here 75 paisa rupee 1 is equals to 100 paisa 1 paisa is equals to 1 by 100 of a rupee. So 75 paisa. What we are going to do it. 75 will be divided by 100. What will be your answer here now. If we have 2 decimal place. So if we are going to divide it by 100. You will be getting 2 decimal place. This will become rupee 0 0.75. 0 0.75. So this will be your answer to this conversion. Now next, express as meter. Next question is express as meter. Next question is express as meter. Using decimal. Obviously by using decimal only we can express it. So what is given to you? For example, A part that is 15 centimeter. Again, we all are aware of it that 1 meter is equals to 100 paise or we can write it in this way also 1 centimeter is equals to 1 by 100 meter so 15 centimeter is equals to 15 that will be divided by 100 so now it will be converted into meter 2 decimal place we required here this will become 0 0.15 we are going to count from back 1 2 and put the decimal here 0 0.15 meter it can be any other number also it can be uh, you can take it 6 centimeter you can take it might be possible that one of the term which is given in meter and other one is given in centimeter look at this question if you have such kind of a question see you have such kind of a question 2 meter 45 centimeter so b part that is i am taking here 2 meter 45 centimeter now the thing is which is already in meter that you need not to convert it since the question says that express as meter using decimals so we will write 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter so 2 meter 45 centimeter now the part which is already in meter that we will not change 2 plus 45 that will be divided by 100 2 
decimal place you require 2 plus 0.45 do the addition the answer will be 2.45 centi 2.45 meter 2.45 meter <clears throat> I hope the question is clear to you all now express as centimeter using decimals again you have been given with expresses meter now two examples we have done it have been given in centimeter then how you can convert it or if you have been given with uh, meter then you need not to convert it and then you, how you can convert it expresses centimeter using decimals next is if you have been given with millimeter, if you have been given with millimeter, then how you are supposed to do it? For example, A part that is 5 millimeter. 5 millimeter. We know 1 centimeter, 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeter. So 5 millimeter is equal to now 5 will be divided by 10. 5 will be divided by 10, this will become 0.5 centimeter. 0.5 centimeter. Similarly, uh, we can do some other, we can take another number also, we can take like 164 millimeter also. Then, might be possible that you have been given with such kind of a question 9 centimeter and 8 millimeter. So, the part which is already in centimeter that you are not going to convert it. You will convert only this part. 8 will be divided by 10 and this will become 9 plus 0 0.8 which will become 9.8 centimeter. So, such kind of a question will be there. Next, express as kilometer. If instead of we have done meter, we have done centimeter. Now the next question express as kilometer. Express as kilometer. How can you express such kind of a question using kilometer? Express as kilometer. For example, if you have been given with 8888 meter. So we know 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meter. 8.888 kilometer. So, same kind of a question you will be having that is related to kg or gram. Now, children will come to next question. How uh, we will be doing operations or how we will be performing operations using decimals. Now, operations means how will you do addition or subtraction with decimals number. Now if you have been given with a decimal number, how will you do addition or subtraction? And how will you do word problem related to this addition and subtraction only? So uh, while, while uh, if we require to do addition, find sum of, find the sum of, how will we find it out sum of? That is 27 point 076 plus 0.55 plus the other one is 0.004 now what you need to do it while doing addition while doing addition only one thing which you need to keep it in your mind that decimal always come just below the decimal so we'll just write it in this form only 0 0.55 and 0 0.004 and then we can do the addition. Now the space which is left 
there you are going to put 0 and then do the addition. So this is the easiest way to do the addition. 6, 4, 10, 13, 6, 7, 2. So this will be your answer of this question. So how uh, you are going to do addition as well as subtraction? Decimal always come just below decimal. And whenever you are subtracting, then subtract this number from the other number. The other number you are going to write it first. From the number which is given after from that you are going to write it down first. And from that you are going to subtract the other number. Now let's see uh, some of the word problem related to this only. That word problem. How we will uh, find it out or how we will be aware or uh, able to know that we need to do addition in this question or subtraction in this question. So let's take some example like Rashid spent rupees 35 and 75 paisa, rupee 35 and 75 paisa for maths book and rupees 32 and 60 paisa for science book. Now Rashid spent this much amount for maths book and this much amount for science book. So money is spent for science maths book and money is spent for the statement. Again if you will be getting a question in 3 marks. So there will be separate marks for statement, separate marks for solution sentence as well as separate marks for the uh, addition of that question. Now money spent money spent on maths book money spent on maths book then number 2 equal to that money you are going to write then money spent money spent on science book Then total money spent, total money spent, total money spent, total money spent, what is the total amount of money was spent by, uh, by that person, that is Rashid. So find the total amount spent. Total now total amount or total word wherever total word you will be getting. It means they will be need to do addition only. So there you are going to do addition only. Now what is the answer here? What is the answer here? How much money was spent for maths book? That is rupees thirty five. Rupees thirty five and seventy five paisa. Then <coughs> for science book that is 32 rupees 60 paisa, rupees 32 and 60 paisa, total amount spent that you need to add it. So this addition you can do it simply, uh, simple addition is required just now which I have told you and then you are going to write the solution sentence also. Therefore the total money spent, total money spent is whatever amount is that okay now what is there next question like radhika's mother gave her rupees 10 and 50 paisa and her father gave rupees 15 and 80 paisa find the total amount given to radhika by the parents total amount which is given to radhika by the parents that is sum of both the amount that how much money she got from uh, her mother as well as how much money she got from her father so that will be there now another kind of a question like Nasreen bought 3 meter 20 centimeter cloth for her shirt and 2 meter 5 centimeter cloth for her trouser find the total length again the total word has came now what I have told you just now that wherever total word will come there you need to do addition only then you are going to use only addition operation only. Then somewhere some in some questions you will be getting that in all or all together. Such kind of a word also you will be getting. 
so in that case also wherever you will be getting in all then also you need to do addition like uh, naresh walk 2 km 35 meter in the morning and 1 km 7 meter in the evening how much distance did he walk in all now here children uh, one more thing is there wherever you will be getting <coughs> like the question is which question you will be getting this kind of a statement for example that naresh walk naresh walk in the morning in the morning the distance which is walked by naresh in the morning what distance will be covered by naresh that is 2 km 35 2 km 35 meter so this 35 meter also we need to convert it into kilometer only so just now we have done conversion in this video only we have done conversion so we can convert it and the answer will be 2.035 km so do the conversion and then you will get the distance in decimal then uh, he walked in the evening how much distance he walked in the evening walk in the evening how much distance did she did he walked in the evening that is 1 km 7 meter 1 km 7 meter so this also you need to convert it 1.007 km this distance will be covered by naresh in the evening okay So now, now next, what is asked that how much distance did he walk in all? In all, just now I have told you that in all means also the same that total distance walked by Nareesh. Fine. Total distance he walked or total distance walked by Nareesh. Then what you need to do it? You are going to add this two point zero three five plus. 1.007. Then you add it. So this much uh, kilometer distance is covered by this much kilometer distance is covered by Naresh. So we'll add it on seven plus five twelve four zero three three point zero four. so i hope this question is clear to you all how to find it out see wherever in or in any question wherever you will be getting such kind of a question that um uh, total distance he covered total distance or therefore also that is important therefore total distance covered by an arrays is whatever the length Okay, now here what is there? That is uh, the previous question which I have read. That that is uh, Naveen bought three meter twenty centimeter cloth for shirt and two meter five centimeter cloth for her trouser. So uh, Nasreen, sorry, the total length of cloth bought by her. So again, you need to do conversion. That centimeter part also you are going to convert it into meter, and then you are going to do addition. Then uh, Sunita travelled fifteen kilometer to sixty eight meter by bus and seven kilometer seven meter by car and five meter five hundred meter on foot. So all these distance you are going to convert it into kilometer and then you add it. Then you add it. Now how far is her school from her residence? Then you add it and then you will get the answer. Now Ravi purchased five kg four hundred gram rice. 2 kg 20 g sugar 10 kg 850 g flour then find the total weight of his purchase again you need to convert it into gram kg gram also you are going to convert it into kg and then you add it on so 5.400 kg then 2.020 kg and 10.850 kg that you will add it and you will get the answer that what is the total weight of his purchase total weight how much uh, he purchased in all 
so i hope that is clear to you all and uh, tomorrow we will be doing questions related to subtraction they will be finishing the class here this is all for today